movie makers have been coming to Western New York for over a half century. Filming such classics as Niagara with Marilyn Monroe, or The Natural with Robert Redford. Buffalo Niagara Film Commissioner Tim Clark and the Buffalo Niagara Film Office have helped facilitate the production of movies, television shows, and commercials for over a decade. The Buffalo area has seen such films as Henry's Crime with Keanu Reeves come to town, or more recently, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles utilizing the 33 for a critical car chase action sequence. However, Niagara Falls and Niagara County have now become more and more a destination point for filmmakers as well. Tim Clark sat down with What's Up West New York at the Riviera Theater in North Tonawanda to discuss the growth of film production in Niagara County and the surrounding region. Clark tells What's Up West New York that once a director shoots a film in West New York, they often return. Yeah, we In 2010, Keanu Reeves and James Caan discussed making movies in Buffalo and Western New York. I'm, I, I was the first guy in Hollywood to, to make a picture in Buffalo, 1980. I directed was a picture called oh, yeah. uh, Hide in Plain Sight. Mm -hmm. And the only, I, I went to Buffalo because that's where it happened. And it was as far away from the producers as I, I could get. I mean, they had to do a studio. <laughs> and uh, so that worked out well. We had great and support stuff? and help from the people there and from the film commission there. And, yeah, they, um, they supported the film as, in, in such a great way. And uh, we did a lot of the exteriors there. Mm -hmm. And, um, you sure. know, to get the light, to get the architecture, yeah. to get the, yeah. the, the feeling of the place. And, and we lucked out with some good weather and, you know, filming at the falls at four in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, you, but, you know what? It's true. I had a great. Uh, they, they were so nice. Uh, they were great. People were great. Film and television production is not only beneficial to the local economy, but the tourism trade in particular, especially in Niagara Falls. Yeah, I think the Nick Linda stunt uh, on ABC Television was uh, probably one of the bigger, if not well, it really was the biggest uh, television event uh, in Niagara Falls history. Uh, millions, I mean, tens of millions of viewers. Uh, you get on and, um, you know, and, and also the press coverage, just even in the print media and on the internet, is, is, you know, it's just phenomenal. I read some, uh, some accounts of, uh, you know, uh, Twitter just going off the Richter scale that night, uh, simply because everybody was Twittering, uh, you know, and tweeting 
uh, the messages about uh, Nick uh, moving over uh, from the American side to the Canadian side. So, no, it was a very, very huge television event for us and a, and a big part of the Avatar history. The concept of the film office is to sort of uh, harness all the aspects architecturally and with the crew and with permitting processes and all of that kind of stuff. Um, is to harness all that so that when a, a filmmaker comes to Western Europe, for instance, uh, they're, you know, we're not dealing with 20 different agencies and it gets unwieldy. You know, we basically handle it from the first call to the, when the trucks leave and shoot the horn goodbye. You know, so we, uh, we literally um, are involved in pretty much every aspect of filmmaking, uh, not just here in the Falls, but anywhere in the Western region, you know, safe.